What's up baseball fans? Today we're going to take a look at my 1980 Topps baseball set, which is the first set I ever built as a kid. I was eight or nine years old, so this set holds some sentimental value to me. Take a look at the set stats. There are 726 total cards in this set. Key cards are obviously, anybody familiar with this set is the Ricky Henderson rookie card. There is also a Rick Sutcliffe rookie card, and I believe Dave Steeb's rookie card is in here, along with Jesse Orozco and Mike Scott, who had a nice career for a while. So without further ado, let's take a look at the set. Okay, we're gonna start off with the California Angels as they were known back then, before they came the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. You see Rod Carew in the lower right corner. I list all of my teams alphabetically in the uh, set books that I keep. I have the complete sets from 1980 to 1990 from Tops. As you see Nolan Ryan there in the middle row on the right. We take a look, we get into the Astros. Cesar Cedeno, Jose Cruz, Joaquin Andujar, Terry Poole, Joe Necro, known for scuffing the ball a few times in his career. J.R. Richard on the top. J.R. had some great seasons. And there you see the Ricky Henderson card in the lower right corner, which I own two of, actually. Continuing on with the A's. Moving on to the Toronto Blue Jays, who at this time were only in Major League Baseball for about two or three years. They were in an expansion team at the time, along with the Seattle Mariners. And there is the Dave Steeb rookie card top center. Dave Steve had many good years. He was the ace of the staff for the Blue Jays back in the 80s. Had some great seasons. Bob Horner's second year card right there. Dale Murphy up in the top right. Phil Necro, middle on the left, Hall of Famer. Murphy belongs in the hall in my opinion. Getting on to the Milwaukee Brewers, Cecil Cooper. Ray Fossey in the top left, currently an announcer and known for his incident with Pete Rose back in the All-Star game in the early 70s, as you see Paul Molitor in the top left, Ben Ogilvie, Robin Yount, and moving on to the St. Louis Cardinals now, there's Keith Hernandez in the lower right corner, currently an announcer for my New York Mets. Ted Simmons, great catcher in his time, one of the top defensive backstops. Bill Buckner, center, uh, center card right there. May he rest in peace. Great hitter, great guy. You can see a few empty holes as I'm turning the pages. Those are the uh, cards I was telling you about in the beginning that I had written on. I need about four or five of these cards to be replaced. I will eventually go and get them on eBay somewhere, as you see uh, Rick Russell there. Here we are moving on to the Dodgers. Dodgers had a uh, great team at this time. Steve Garvey, Davey Lopes, Bill Russell, Rick Monday, Manny Mota. There's the Rick Sutcliffe rookie card at the top. Don Sutton, a Hall of Famer. Moving on to the Montreal Expos, who you now know as the Washington Nationals. Andre Dawson. There's a Tony Perez in the lower left. Rusty Staub, great hitter, nice long career. Moving on to the San Francisco Giants, Vita Blue. Jack Clark, great hitter. Willie McCovey, big home run hitter in his time.
There you see Bill North in the top left corner. He was actually the final card I needed to complete this set. I had a tough time finding him for some reason. It's always that one card you need. Moving on to the Seattle Mariners, an expansion team at the time along with the Toronto Blue Jays, only in their third or fourth year of existence. Here we are moving on to my New York Mets, who at the time were uh, an abysmal team to watch. They had just let Seaver go about four or five years prior to this. Moving on to the Baltimore Orioles, great team at the time. Jim Palmer, Eddie Murphy, lots of good hitters and great pitchers. Steve Stone won the Cy Young Award this year, I believe. Ken Singleton later on became a great announcer. San Diego Padres. Always liked their cards for some reason. They had always had a nice team card. They took it at the San Diego Zoo, I believe. I always love getting that card. Ozzy Smith's second year card. Gaylord Perry also on the team. Dave Winfield. Moving on to the Philadelphia Phillies. World champions that year. Tons of great players on this team. You got Pete Rose, Steve Carlton. Mike Schmidt, Tug McGraw, just a great, great team to watch. Moving on to the Pittsburgh Pirates, who were the 1979 World Series champions. Willie Stargell, Dave Parker, the whole We Are Family team. Great, great, great bunch of, great bunch of guys to watch. Texas Rangers, Ferguson Jenkins in the lower right corner, John Matlock, Sparky Lyle after his tenure with the Yankees, Al Oliver, another great hitter. Moving on to the Boston Red Sox, another great team loaded with stars and Hall of Famers. You had Freddie Lynn, Dennis Eckersley on here. Lynn's not in the Hall of Fame, but another great player. Carl Yastrzemski, Jim Rice, just a great, great, powerful lineup. Moving on to the Cincinnati Reds, still had a lot of guys here from the Big Red Machine back in the mid-70s. Johnny Bench, Dave Concepcion, Joe Morgan. Here we are onto the Kansas City Royals, had some nice players on this team. George Brett, Darryl Porter, Willie Wilson, a lot of power and speed on this team. Following up with the Detroit Tigers, great lineup on this team as well. Jack Morris, second or third year. Lou Whitaker and Alan Trammell just getting started with their shortstop second base combination, which would last throughout the entire 1980s and into the 1990s. 
And lastly, we're moving on to the Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox. Had a few decent name players on here. Some of them, Claudel Washington, Roy Smalley, Jerry Kuzman. Finally, we end up with the New York Yankees, who just over the last two years have won a couple of World Series. Lots of big names on here. Reggie Jackson, Luis Tiant. In the last few pages, we end up with rookie cards, highlights, league leaguers, and last but least, the checklists. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Frank from Frank's Card Corner. Be sure to check out all my other collection videos on here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.